in two parts. First, we will introduce our company and main products. Second, we will show you around our new stone factories. Uh, some of our potential customers, they are willing to uh, visit our factory this year, but due to the pandemic situation, they have canceled their trip. So we prepare this live show for our customers. If you have never visited Chinese new machine factory, I think we should stay. We will give you more knowledge about our stone machinery. Hope you will like it. Hello everyone, this is Clark. Thanks for watching our live show. This live show will last for around the next two hours. So if you have any questions during the live show, please feel free to send us a message. We hope you will enjoy it in the next two hours. First of all, we would like to have a brief introduction about our company. One more group is a professional manufacturer, exporter of diamond tools, stone machinery factory for more than 27 years. Our factory located in Chenzhou City, Fujian Province. What makes us different from other suppliers is that we have our own stone machinery factory and diamond tools, and also our sugar stone factories. One of provides the one package solution for customers in stone industry, especially those uh, new people who just come into this stone business. So, firstly, for our diamond tools factory, our main product covers wide ranges of cutting tools, polishing tools, profiling tools drilling tools, work saw, etc. Today, no matter from daily output, engineer team, uh, more knowledge about our stone, about our products. Thank you. As the leader of the stone machinery products, our machine series is complete with laser bridge cutting machine, multi blade block cutting machine, CNC wire saw, branding and polishing machines, profile machines, combined with our experience on diamond tools, we can offer customer one step comprehensive for stone factory solution for our customer from all over the world. Uh, after last live stream, one of the FAQ is like, uh, we are going to set up a stone factory, so which machine or uh, which relevant tools shall we choose? I believe many audience here in front of us watching our live stream right now also have the same questions. So today we are going to talk about this topic. So normally to set up the new stone factories, three machines are compulsory required. First is multi blade block cutter. Mm -hmm. Multi blade block cutter and secondly is the automatic light polishing machine. And third is our edge cutting machine. These three machines are very important to set up the new factory. Every customer should purchase it. So now let's uh, visit our stone factories for more details about these main products. So we will show you around our factory now. Machine. Six this is to India. Fully automatic. So before uh, the block cutting, I want to talk about block block first. So right now we know several ways to open a quarry. One is the wire saw machine, and uh, maybe some people use the quarry blade cutting machine as well. 
and even some people use the explosive to break the block from quarry. So um, maybe some of the blocks which you get is not square or regular. So before cutting the blocks, it's better we dress in the block first. So we are gonna use this one, where's the machine? It has two columns here and uh, have a big work table, which is two layers and rotates 360 degrees. So we put block on the table and dress, all, we dress one side and then we can rotate the table and dress all four sides of the ball. So after block dressing, the block will be square, which is easily to cut. So um, right now let's check how to cut block. Now we are coming for our multi blade block cutter, our best selling, our selling products. This is QSQ series multi blade cutting machine. This is the most common choice for block cutter. The main feature of this product is uh, it's high production, low production cost, and also it's very easy to operate. First, let's see the mechanical part. This machine combines by a Big cross beam and two side beams. It's a bridge thrust structure. And the length of the side beam, cross beam is 7.5 meters, 8 meters, or 8.5 meters. Uh, due to the heavy structure, this machine can hold several blades cutting together, so the efficiency output is very high. And uh, let's see, there is a big motor on the top of the machine. It's 45 kilowatt, 55 kilowatt, or 65 kilowatt. It's from Siemens, which is very re reliable and powerful. And uh, here, beside the motor, there is a hydraulic station, which provides hydraulic power. It's from Taiwan. And here, we have an automatic lubrication system. We can set in the program, like, uh, every eight hours per lubrication. Uh, also, as we know, the accuracy for bridge cutting for a multi-blade cutting machine is very important. Like, if we want to cut 20 millimeter slabs, we don't want to cut, we don't want to get 18, or we don't want to get 22. So, how to solve this problem? We use this one, encoder. All the movement of this machine, up and down, left and right, and forward, backward, is made by this encoder. This one is for forward and backward. Also, this encoder behind the lubrication box is for left and right. Also, this lifting structure is four columns. It's moving more stable and faster, improve the efficiency. So after the mechanic parts, I want to introduce the control box because uh, it's like a body of a, of a machine and uh, then we're gonna check the brand, the system. As you see, the, all the components and the keyboards here are well organized. This one is the PLC, it's from Panasonic. This is like a brain of a, of a human. This gives command to each component, how to do, what to do. And uh, this is the transformer. This is relay. 
This is a contactor, it's from Fuji, also Japanese brand. This is Panasonic inverter. And uh, here is a wireless re receiver. We can use the remote control to control the machine for more convenience. So most of the electronic parts is from world international famous brand, which uh, is more reliable and the service life is more longer. And here, as we, as we saw just now, there are so many components inside the control box, so it requires many, many people's wires. Um, probably while installation, it's easy to mix the, all the cables, so we use this aviation plug system. It is easier and avoid mistakes in your side. And here, this is the control panel. This is the control panel and uh, touch screen. This is the power, main power. This is the start and stop button for the main motor. And this is automatic running or manual running mode. This is all the direction movement of the machine button. And uh, as we can see, there is a touch screen here. It's very easy to put the, to set the uh, parameters or it's wet. It's easy to read the running stations, running conditions on the machine. For example, if we want to cut a stone block right now, first we need to set the uh, parameters according to the uh, block dimension and also according to which slab size to, shall, we, shall we need. Now I'll show you how to operate. Mm. For example, we want to cut 30 mm with slabs and we want to cut 20 pieces. Just put here 30 mm and 20 pieces. Then we set the left and right limit. So you can see there is a screen here. This machine is showing the showing the running conditions at the same time. So the blade already passed the left limit, so we press this button, X minimum. This is to set the limit for the left movement. After this, we set the right one. Control, press this button, the machine is moving to the right side. limit so we press this button x max this is to set the limit for the right side after left and right we're gonna set the up and down uh, as you see here the blade is very close to the top of the block so we gonna raise it a little bit okay and uh, then we shall set this one for front and the back movement. Okay, right now the start cutting position is 23, 24.
centimeters. Let's see, later we start the machine. Let's see if the machine can cut 20 millimeters exactly. After all the settings, we come back here to the control box and we turn this to automatic running mode. And we start this motor. This becomes set here as well. For example, we want to cut 60 centimeters with steps, and the, the downfit depth for each cutting is 20 centimeters. And then we change the automatic. Okay. Then this, block, this machine already starts cut. Along with the movement of the machine, Right to left, touch the limit, and then don't be only the meter. Left to right cut. Okay, right now the machine touches the right limit. the left uh, limit and uh, the first slicing is finished now the machine is moving up the machine is moving up now and make the slicing now let's check how many millimeters the slicing is Twenty seven point five, exact twenty millimeters. Now it's making the second slice. So we just now we put on the spring. 20, 30 millime millimeters. And uh, from 24.5 to 27.5, this machine cut exact 30 millimeters. So I think this machine has made its job. So let's say this machine has a very high output. It's around 7 square meters per hour. And it has a long lifespan. It has accuracy for slicing. So basically, this machine can meet all your expectations for a block cutting.
show you just now, this machine we put on the spring. We want to cut 30 mm wood slabs and uh, we check on the meter. It exactly, exactly cut 30 mm. So we can see this machine can basically meet all your expectations for a block cutting machine. And then after block cutting, most of the customers choose to polish the slabs. So here we suggest the light polish machine. My colleague Jeff will show you about details of the light polish machine. It's full okay. So uh, after Jack uh, Clark finished the introduction of this uh, multi-blade block cutting machine, normally one factory, after their block cutting machine, uh, cutting the block into the slabs, and so we getting the slab, uh, so we need to polish this slab. Now we require the automotive light polishing machine. So I will show you our uh, fully automatic 16 heads, 20 heads, 24 heads also, like uh, automatic light pollution machine. This way, please. This is our 16 of fully automatic light polishing machine. After block cutting machine, we get in the steps. So we need this machine to polish in the steps. Our this light polishing machine, we are developing based on the Italian technology and uh, it can give very high efficiency and uh, super high grossness. This is 16 heads and uh, this disc, this disc head design uh, reduce the polishing tools and the power cost to a large extent. Also, this machine is very less maintenance, so uh, it's required, and the most lubrication will be done automatically. And this machine, uh, we use top brand com components such as Siemens May Moto and uh, Mitsubishi PLC. And uh, later, I will show you this way. I'll show you our electronic bo box. Here is our electronic parts. Please take over review of this electronic box. This uh, spare parts we are all used in the uh, international famous spare parts. Let me one by one to introduce to you. This is our uh, Mitsubishi P uh, electronic. It's like, uh, just like a brain, a people's brain. It connects all the parts to uh, play a very important part in this whole automatic light pollution machine. And uh, this is our Yashikawa frequency inverter. Please take a close look at this. This is also famous brand. And this is our transformer. And uh, here, this is all our uh, switch, L switch. The brand name is uh, Delixi, L switch. And uh, here is the uh, good uh, famous, the mass, uh, international famous Fuji contact. It's all Fuji contact. And uh, here is our relay. We use Omulon relay, also international famous brand. So mostly our electronic parts, all the uh, mostly spare parts, we are use good brand. Brand so we can guarantee our machine running very smoothly. Okay, first we finish this electronic parts introduction. And uh, now I introduce our this encoder. This encoder for this automatic light polishing machine for polishing heads position to increasing the polishing efficiency. Can increasing the 10 to 15 percent polishing efficiency. This encoder is making the polishing movement, movement more accurate as well. And uh, here is our brake motor. Brake motor also is very important because this brake motor it can protect the cross beam from damage under sudden electronic cut. Sometimes uh, the factory the 
electric power was not very stable. So once uh, ele electric cut, this brake motor can protect the cross spin of these machines. And this is our main motor. This main motor, or, uh, also international famous brand, we use Siemens. And some uh, other factories, they use the domestic brand like Mingdong Motors. Quality cannot compete with our company. Take a look at this main motor. Main motor very important. And uh, for this part, uh, this is uh, one cover, so we cannot see inside. Inside is a uh, Hewing Lina. We are using Taiwan good brand Hewing Lina guide rails to ensure the smooth movement of the this cross beam, and while keeping the precession. And we can see this, this is a lubrication system. This, we're using the automatic, automatic lubrication system to increasing the life of the spindle box. Increasing the life of spindle box. And the next, next is this AirTech cylinder. We use the Taiwan AirLink cylinder with super waterproof and dust proof function for some serious uh, situation. So these two parts also very important in this light pollution machines. Also now check this spindle box, spindle box control. Each head has one spindle box and it can it can automatic and separate control each pollution heads. And also here is the pressure adjust. When you're polishing the slabs, if the uh, operator is very experienced, he know how to adjust the pressure to get the high groanings. And uh, let's take a close look at this uh, polishing head. Polishing head. This polishing head, we have uh, two parts. The lower part, lower part of polishing head is made of aluminum alloy with cushion rubber. Balance the pressure and good shock. Avoid spindle pass damage. And the upper part is made of iron. It is more stable connection. Our, our polishing head material compared with other factory, our material is high quality. And uh, some other factory, they use only iron. So uh, now, after finish all our main uh, parts, I want to show you how to combine this uh, light polish machine with our polishing tools. How to get the high production output and uh, high grossness. This machine, we have uh, 16 heads. Uh, uh, first head starting from here, we call it position one. Normally, uh, first head, we put metal disc. Metal disc, we use 50, 50 degrees numbers. And second, we also use the metal disc, 50 numbers. And uh, from the position three to position five, we use metal disc, which grid number is 200. And uh, five to seven, we use 400 number metal disc. And uh, from position eight, we put resin. Resin is mostly for rough grinding, for polishing. So starting from 500, 500, and also 800, 800 number, and uh, 1,500 number, 1,500 number, and uh, 3,000 number. And uh, for the final three steps, we're using the buff for final polishing. So uh, if you purchase the machine from our company, we can give you very, uh, good combination of our metal disc polishing tool so you can get a high out output of production. Monthly our light polishing machine 16 head we can get 10,000 square meter production. And also it depending on the operator. 
the operator is much more experienced. They, they know how to adjust the uh, 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 pressure of this each head. And also they know how to make a combination with number of metal discs within this and the, and the valve. And also they know how to uh, set up the, how to put the water so they can get very really high bronies. So now uh, let's welcome our operator to give you some uh, simple operation of this light storage machine. This our engineer will show you uh, simply how to run this machine. Also, our uh, building, we are using the Japan NSK building. This spare part is inside the production machine, so we cannot see outside. And this is the only uh, one of our machine. We call it playhead, this type. We have also another machine. Uh, which is speaker head. Speaker head, uh, some customer asking what's the difference from the play head and with speaker head. I will give some uh, detailed introduction. First is quite different. And second is mechanics cost for play type machine is lower. Average abrasive cost is also lower too. And if the customer want to polish the step, which is within 1.5 meters, Play head machine is okay, but if customer want to polish the big slab size, so we suggest customer purchase different head because it will perform much better. And all our machine, we we can get 115 degree high velocity. And also our light polishing machine, we can force polishing the marble and then only changing the head changing the head to transfer type so we can polish in the marble. So factory purchase one machine and both used in granny and marble, both available. So here, if you uh, need more details, please let us some messages. Okay, we will show you other machines. After uh, light polishing machine, Polishing the slab, we need to cut in the slabs, edge cutting machine for tiles.
cut the fullest slab to tiles. For example, we need to cut 40 by 40 or 60 by 60 centimeters. So, next step, we are going to use the bridge cutting machine to cut the slab into tiles or any special size which you need. For bridge cutting machine, we have basically we have four models here. This one is PLC 700. Bridge cutting machine. Its model is YDQQ 600. And the last one we have is a standard model, basic model. It's PLT 600. As you can see here, this machine is also a bridge stru structure, which has a cross view and the two settings here. This is made by casting iron as well. It's made under high temperature so as to make sure the long lifespan. So even after seven years, 10 years using, this cross beam will not be uh, like uh, out of shape. And uh, this is the table for the bridge cutting machine. This size is 3.2 length meters by two meters width. So the maximum cutting size for this machine is 3.2 by two meters. Then let's see the electronic parts as well. This is the control box. This one is PLC. It's also from Panasonic. There is many brands on the market and uh, also several famous international brands. And we think Panasonic is more stable compared to other brands like Omron or Siemens. And this one is Panasonic inverter, this two. And uh, this one is the contactor, it's from Fuji. It's a power supply from the light as well. So, uh, uh, Regarding the bridge cutting machine, the accuracy is very, very important, even more important than the bridge cut, than the multiple block cutting machine. So, how do we uh, guarantee the accuracy? We use this one. This is a magnetic, magnetic bridge system. Compared to encoder, this is more accurate. This is the magne magnetic head, and uh, here is the tape. This is, this is more accurate than the encoder. Uh, but as we just said, this one is a basic model. This is only for vertical cutting. So if it's some customers, they want, they, uh, they want to chamfer the edges of the slabs like 45 degrees. 
So we are going to use next model, POC 700. This machine is also bridge structure with a strong cross beam and two set beams. These beams are made by casting iron under high temperature, which can ensure long life span more than seven years or even ten years without distortion. And uh, here is the main motor. It's from Siemens, which is very re reliable and also powerful. Uh, lifting is made by hydraulic system. As you can see here is a hydraulic cylinder. Here, hydraulic cylinder, which is moving faster and more stable. And this is the limit switch for up and down movement. So. This is the limit switch for left and right. To double secure the safety movement, we have another limit block here. In case any of the switch is not working, this block can protect the machine as well. And uh, come here, we have a laser. This laser is to help the operator find uh, the cutting position. This is the control box, control panel, and uh, here is a touch screen. We have uh, Chinese language, English language, Russian. Also, if you need Spanish or any other language, we can make for you as well to change the operating system language. Mm, let's come to check the electronic box first. Here, this one is a hydraulic station to provide hydraulic power to the machines for the up and down and also the table movement. As you can see here, all the son son sonoid valves is from Seven Ocean brand, it's from Taiwan. Here, this is from Taiwan. This is the control box of this machine. The first part is this Panasonic PLC. PLC is like a brand for human. This is to keep the program and send command to each component. Tell the machine what to do and how to do. This is Panasonic inverter. This is also Panasonic inverter. And here is the relay. Breaker, power supply, inductor, and this is contactor. It's also from Fuji, Japanese brand, which is very reliable. And uh, this one is a big inverter, frequency inverter. This is for the main motor. This is to reduce, uh, this is to uh, adjust the RPM of the blade. So if this if this machine has this inverter, we can adjust the RPM as, as per the actual cutting requirement. For example, uh, if we cut marble, normally it requires higher RPM than granite. And if we use a small blade, normally we need to increase the RPM compared to the big blade. So, uh, for instance, because this machine can do the 45 degrees chamfering, here, this part here, as you can hear. Engineer is showing how to 
tail to the table. How to tail to the blade. This whole cutting part is tilting, so it's very strong. Even after several years tilting, it's still cutting very accurate. There is a limit switch here. Once the machine tilts 45 degrees, this limit switch is that is on. And we check here. Tilt exact 45 degrees. So the tilt is very successful. And we said just now this machine can change the RPM. So normally for tilting, we need to put the smaller blade, like a 350 or 400. This is to reduce the edge vibration, so the machine is cutting more accurate. And uh, we use small blade, so we need to increase the RPM to make it run faster. This is to uh, give a better cutting performance to avoid chipping or any other cutting problems. And here, this is the table. This table size is 3.2 meters length by 2 meters width. So the maximum cutting size for this machine is 3.2 by 2 meters by 23 centimeters height. This table can rotate 360 degrees. And also tilt 85 degrees. You know the big slab is very heavy. It's not easy to operate to load to the table. So we tilt to the table to 85 degrees easily put the snaps on it. And also this table can be 360 degrees. 45. In this shape, this this direction and this direction. Three hundred sixty degrees rotating. And so the operation of this machine is also very easy. Come and check the control panel and the touch screen. This button is for the up and down movement of the machines. And uh, this is the motor start and stop. This is the meter of ampere. This is meter of voltage. This is the running speed. Reduce the speed and increase the speed. And here we can set the size of slabs. For example, we want to cut 40 by 40, then we put here 300 mm. And we cut three pieces, put three. This is 400 by 400. Three pieces. Okay. And uh, just put block, put a slab on the table, and we can start cutting. It's very simple. So our engineer will start cutting, operate to the machine to show you how to. Do.
Extra PL6 700, 100 and PL6 700. Because the maximum blade diameter is 700 millimeters only, so the maximum cutting depth is 23 centimeters. Uh, for some customers, maybe they are they have a requirement for uh, like a fixed depth cutting, like such as curb stone, such as monuments, which is thicker but 23 centimeters. So we are going to use this machine. The main structure is the same as last two machines. The difference is our maximum diameter of blade is 1.2 meters. So the maximum cutting depth for this machine is 45 centimeters. That's enough for curbstone and monuments. And here, as you can see, we have a laser. Here. This is to help the operator lock the cutting position. There is a line on the table. And all these three machines require a concrete foundation. So before installation, we are going to build the concrete foundation first. Uh, if you have requirement for more flexi flexibility, for such as uh, if you want to move the machines from here to another place, this is not easily. So we are going to use this machine. The structure, steel structure, and the table is uh, like an uh, integrated structure. Once you receive the machine, you put it on the ground, and uh, you just fasten the screws on the ground. Then you can start cutting. No need to build a concrete foundation, no need to a lot of commissioning. It's very easy to install, and uh, if you want to move this machine to a new place, just Loose the screws and fasten again, which is very convenient. So here is my PLC 600, PLC 600, PLC 700, and the QZQ 1200. This is four basic models for bridge cutting. Which model do you need? Which model is better for you? You can make decisions according to the options. Here we have introduced the block squaring machine, the Versa machine. And then next we have introduced the multiple block cutter. And then my colleague Jeff has introduced the light polish machine for you. And here, last step, bridge cutting machine to cut the slabs into tiles. So basically, for a stone slab cutting machine, you have, say, all the machines here. And now my colleague Jeff will introduce the stock of our casting iron pumps or the spare parts so that you can see how the material looks like. You know, since our new machinery factory set up, we have received a lot of orders. Just now, Clark finished introduction of all our main, main products. 
for selling products. So in order to fulfill the production requirement and to meet the customer order requirement, we have prepared a lot of stock. Especially the main, main square part is our custard island. This all our custard island. We have full stock to uh, ready for the customer orders. Take a close of this. One long, one hundred percent cast iron with heavy weight. This is also this is multi blade or cutting machine. Cast iron, one hundred percent. And we also this also our cast iron stock. This for light polishing machine. Just now we introduced sixteen cans automotive light polishing machine, and this is cast iron used for this machine. And this is for Wild Soap, Custom Island for Wild Soap. And also this Custom Island. And this for multiple goals in Custom Island. Custom Island. We have 8 meter, also 8.5 meter Custom Island. Our is 100%. Some other factory, they, they are custom, uh, they are not 100% Custom Island. They inside the full with concrete. If uh, meeting the cold weather, or very high temperature, it is easily get bent, so it will affect the machine quality. But every raw material we purchase, we have a do 100% inspection. Before inspection is satisfied, so we put into the production. And also for this uh, casting island, we have two types. One is the linear ray, linear railway. And also another is V-grade. This is uh, more wear resistant and also easily to repair. But uh, this efficiency can get 10 to 15 percent compared this V gate. So also this are uh, some stock. and uh, delivery as soon as possible. Introduction of our main custom island. We introduce you some our spare parts. Now let's go to our warehouse. Spare part warehouse. This also semi finished products. Waiting for painting. machine are already passed our quality inspection very carefully. We are very appreciated for our customer during this, this uh, pandemic. They still give us order. So we will try our best to guarantee our quality and uh, provide the best quality machine to them to meet their production capacity. These uh, orders are from some old, old customer. They already give two, three, two, four set machines. They trust our quality. It is already tagged. Also, before the container loading, we will try to inspection and uh, make properly packing to guarantee the safety transportation during the sea. And our factory also uh, have a professional equipment when container loading. We just Near, near, near uh, 10 to 15 minutes, we can load one container. This is yes. And this is a manual polishing machine. Just one customer order 
other 10 sets of this manual polish machine supplied to European market. This side for a so. And it's for one to three. Here, this one is a thicker structure, thicker type. Yeah, just now it's we have uh, introduced the play head, and this is another thicker type. Thicker type, we normally inspect the thicker diamond thicker. One head. Six, six heads installed. Just now we have made an introduction for the whole machines for the basic stone factory from block squaring, multi block cutting, slab polishing, and uh, final step is cutting. So if you have any other questions, you can just leave a message on the screen and we will reply to you as soon as possible. factory from block cutting, slab polishing to uh, edge cutting. So to give you more information, please check this video. Here, this is the 
here, this one. Can you stop this for This one is a block square machine, as we said. Uh, maybe some of the blocks which you get is not square, so it's not easy to cut. Also, it, it causes a lot of waste, waste of time, force, waste of time. So before block cutting, it's better we dress the block by this machine first. After dressing, the block will be exactly square. The next step, we carry the block from here to the multiple cutting machine. Knife blades or tower blades come together. And after cutting, we move the steps. Move the, move the steps from here to the first slab, slab loader. And from here, step comes to the conveyor. And the from the conveyor comes to the machine and start polishing. After this, the step will out of the machine from here, this part, and this is the slab unloaded. After this step, the machine slab is already polished. And then we move the polished slab from the polish machine to the bridge cutting machine to cut into tiles 60 by 60 or 40 by 40. This is the whole process, yes, this is the whole process for a stone factory. Hello. Uh, some, uh, also, some people may ask why sometimes similar machine gives different production capacity. Actually, many customers choose one long is because we have experience both in diamond stone machinery and diamond tools. We know how to match them together to reach the production output. So now let's show you a video about our diamond tools factories. We will give you introduction about uh, how to process our diamond tools. Our company founded in 1993, One Long Diamond Tools Complimented. It is a professional producer of diamond tools and uh, exporter located in Chengdu City, Fujian Province, one of the best stone processing centers in the world. The factory covers an area of modern standard factory workshop, office buildings and uh, dormitories. It is equipped with most advanced production and testing equipment for diamond tools manufacturing sectors with more than 600 experienced and developed employees working in a friendly family in our research and development department, sales and customer service section. One Long is now one of the biggest manufacturers of diamond tools of stone processing, providing products for stone cutting, drilling, and grinding. Our well-organized and experienced team and advanced equipment enable us to produce 400,000 pieces of segments daily which ensures timely delivery. One of products are not only friendly to environment, but also to end user, not only with consistent good performance, but also with reasonable cost, which helps thousands of stone factories and diamond tools all over the world to cut stone much easier and to be win-win cooperation with one more. And also, our production finish segment, we beginning with 16 steps, strict in inspection of the raw materials. These are diamond raw materials. We sometimes we import from diamond, and we after very serious test testing. And also, this is our stone library. We have uh, hundreds of stone material from all over the world, which we collect when we go to the market. We can analyze your stone in our library. Yes analyze the hardness of your stone and also the composition so that our engineer can give formula according to it to make sure the diamond tools is matches with your stone very well. As you can see here is our main product. We have wide ranges of cutting tools like saw blade and the, the segment. And also we have polishing tools for stone. We have drilling tools, profiling tools, wire saw for quarry, 
and the stone cutting as well. We have a professional engineer team to help you analyze stone and make formula according to the different stone features. Now let's check some of our main products. Uh, first, I will give you some introduction of our main products, diamond segment. This, uh, this diamond segment is a block cutting segment and a blade for granite and marbles. It's for granite. You see, this uh, segment we are designed for M shape. As we all know, M shape design can make diamond cutting fast. This segment is we design M shape. M shape. As we all know, M shape design can make diamond open fast. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, this can make cutting results more smoothly and the flex service and even size, stable cutting. And uh, cutting, some people, they purchase our segment with containers and they give feedback is our segment cutting like rocket. Cutting speed is fast and uh, also lifespan is long. And uh, you see this segment quality is stable, so it can guarantee the set cutting with perfect results. And also every month we supply many segments to Russia, to Iran, to India market, and also we have agent. This segment is for quarry as well. Yeah, granny quarry. Quarry, quarry machines. Yes. And this is marble segments. Marble segment. No, no, uh, normally this color is yellow. And this is for Gensaw. Gensaw for big slabs cutting. Gensaw segment. Also inside full of diamond. Sometimes we import a diamond. Use import diamond. Diamond grade is much higher, so cost also higher. We only want to guarantee the customer cutting stable, so they can give us repeat order. Actually, the difference of this uh, cancel segment is like, if you look closer, you can see the diamond grade is regularly arid. This is to increase the sharpness and cutting speed. For example, if your a competitor cut one block probably you can cut 1.3 blocks. It's much faster than regular Gensel segment. So if you are using Marb Gensel machines, you can not miss this one. Yes, and this is also segment for small blade, like diameter 14 inch. We call 350 mm or 16 inch. This is for normal blade, and this is for diamond arid, which design is more fast, especially supplied to European market customer need high quality and some customer also purchase this segment and they are purchase blade separate and they are waiting in the local market to save some cost mm -hmm. still there are some other design segment too, uh, too many so we only give some simple discussion here uh, we introduce you some saw blade Clark will introduce some saw blade mm -hmm. This is the edge cutting blade. Uh, we have four ranges of diamond edge cutting blade for granite, for marble, for limestone, sandstone, ceramic. And uh, we have diameter from 300 to 800 millimeters. For different material and different requirements, we have different uh, shape of segments and also different design on the steel black. The advantage of our blade is good sharpness and long lifespan. And this, this blade is for marble, as you can see here, marble, normal blade. And its diameter is 350. This 50 is the size of the inner hole. Normally the hole is 50 or 60. And uh, here is the size of the segment. 40 is the length, and 3.2 is the width. And we are using the high frequency weeding technology yes. to guarantee the strengthen the segment and the blade yeah. match together perfectly. And uh, 10 is the height of the segment. And this blade has a very long life and excellent yes. cutting. Yes. And <laughs> next one is for granite. You can see the segment here, the diamond is opened very well, so the sharpness is very high. And this is key slot design.
And this one is our superstar product. It's Arid cutting blade. You see all the diamond grit is regularly arid. This technology helps to improve 30% 30, 30 cutting speed and helps to reduce the power as well. It's selling very well in developed countries such as Canada, USA or Spain, which they requires higher cutting speed. And also if you are a wholesaler, the outlook is very important for sales. So the printing for this blade is also very attractive. We can make special design according to your requirement as well. Yeah, last time we showed this new design to Italian Verona Fair and attract many new customers come to our booth. And uh, we have this one as well. This is also arid kind of blade. The height of the segment is uh, 25 millimeters, which increased the lifespan a lot. And uh, you see the gap between the segment for this blade is less than the former blade. This is to reduce the um, this is to make sure the cutting without chipping because the gap is less. Yes, and this one is a silent blade as you can see here. It's making Sound. less noise. So it's friendly to the operator and also friendly for the environment. This is a laser laser blade. This segment is welded by laser. So it's very strong. It's used for cutting the concrete, even with steel, no problem. Yeah, and this um, segment is turbo, turbo shape. Yes. And uh, here is cooling holes to, for cooling down and water can pass through. As we know, this is a laser, laser weeding technology. It's different from high frequency technology. These two te te technology cost is different, performance also different. Mm -hmm. This one is another technology, vacuum breathed. It's mostly for marble. Sharpness for this blade is very high. Same diamond grade. This vacuum breathed technology also is new technology. Mm -hmm. We have purchased, uh, make a big investment of this vacuum brace equipment. So after the big blade, let my colleague Jeff introduce more about the small. Uh, as you know, uh, we we not uh, we not only produce the big blade, but we also manufacturing the small blade. You see this small blade? We call it four inch. Four inch diameter is uh, one hundred ten mm, and uh, we have three type. You see this? This is our wholesaling products. We call it segmented type. Segmented type, this type segmented, and inner hole is 22.23 mm, and this is fast cutting and no any chipping, mostly used in marble and granite. And for this, also some customer they require this shape. We call this continuous ring. It's uh, mostly used in cutting the ceramic. Reduce no, also the yeah, re reduce the also no any chipping, and uh, also this shape is we call it turbo, turbo shape. And all these uh, three design is 100% hot press technology. F uh, customer give very feedback, good feedback, and every month big, big order for this purchase. This mostly used in manual cutting machines. RPM, uh, we, uh, when we supply these products to our customer, we will give them suggest RPM. So they during their cutting, they can get very good performance. So uh, we have finished the int introduction of all our cutting tools, segment and the blade. Now let me introduce you our polishing tools. This tool is a uh, polishing tool. Just now I uh, show you around our new factory, uh, the automatic light polishing machine. This is a polishing tool used in automatic light polishing machine. This is in the first position. This uh, metal disc. Diameter is 8 inch, 200 mm, and the green number starting from 50, 200, 400. And it is mostly used in rough grinding, rough grinding. And uh, 
This is our regular design. And also segment, we have two height. One is 9 mm, and another, if customer required more height segment, we can produce 12 mm. Life is much longer. So customer can no, uh, no need to frequently change. And also recently, we have designed a new, new shape of this. This clay can be recycled use, and this only one time use. So if you only one time use this possible, so it will, uh, cause some uh, damage of environment so we're developing this new type uh, this segment also uh, much bigger and uh, this also much heavier heavier and life also much longer so but cost will be some higher it depending on your choice but this you can no need to this another advantage is you don't need to uh, change the play you only need to change the segment so sometimes you only purchase segment you can save a lot of transportation charges. It's also one of the advantages. So this is after, after the segment fully consumed, you don't need to weld it. Just fasten the screws here from from the back side of the segment. The you can start push. No need to weld. Yes. It's so, very too easy to replace the segment. So and after also it's mm. much heavier compared to the normal type. So it's making better polish. So after this metal disc use, uh, we use this resin disc. Resin disc diameter is same as the metal disc. And we call this resin kidney. This is glued, glued into the plate. And this is most useful in uh, fine grinding, fine grinding for polishing the granny slabs. And you can also separate purchase from uh, this resin kidney and you can purchase in your local market for this plate. Also can save some transportation cost. And this resin disc, green number starting from 500, 800, 1500, 2000, 300. And uh, this mostly advantage is it can remove the scratch, which metal disc cost. Because of, as we all know, the block cutting into the slab, the, the slab will occur some scratch. So if the polishing tool quality is better, it's good. We can easily remove the scratch to get high grownness. So after this resin, we final position step step final step position. We're using this buff. You see this buff. Our design is different. We have our glue. This glue we design is for heating fast. Customer use this. They see, uh, smoke it, smoke it during the polishing, can make uh, heating fast. So we can get high grownness. And also this diameter is same as as this, two hundred mm, eight inch. And also we have a uh, six group, also three group, and and we have three color: brown color, white color, and uh, and the uh, red color, depending on your granny colors. So if you choose our diamond tools and our stone machinery, we can provide you whole series of polishing tools, so you can get high production and uh, high grossness. And this is one type. This type we call this type. And uh, just now we introduced the long disc. This is another polishing tools. We call it FICA. It is used in FICA automatic light polishing machine. This size length is L15. Height is normally is 18, but we make it 21, 22 also. Some other factory maybe the inside is iron, but we inside is most percentage is diamond, so we can guarantee the super fast cutting. This used for rough grinding. And also we have another size, it's L17. This is most used in quartz processing. This is regular design. And this is a new design, you see, one, two, three, three lines. We design these lines to make sure cutting more faster. And also can make the water more recycling and uh, reduce the stone waste. This supply to Brazil market, Iran market, and also Indian market. Customer feedback is good, good results. And after this, we use this resin, resin disc. Resin disc, we have a three height. You see this height is different. This is 18 mm height, and this is 20, uh, 25. And we have another more height, is 32. Total three height for your selection. 
uh, different is the life is different. And this uh, number is starting from 120, 140, 200, and uh, 220, 240, 300, and 400. And just now I forgot to introduce these green numbers. Starting from 36, 46, 60, 80, 120, and 240, 320. So diamond, we see. And also final. Final buff figure. This or final step polishing. Also, we have only one height, 30 mm. So, Pika Light Polish Machine, compare complete series, metal disc, metal figure, resin figure, buff figure. Can get 115 degrees, glonies. And after slab polishing, no any shadow. You can take the slab as a mirror. So this here is the, our simple induction of our polishing tools. So after cutting, after polishing, some customers prefer a more fine process, especially in Europe. And uh, here is our grinding and profiling tools. Uh, this one is the drill bit. Its diameter is from 4 to 100 mm. This one, drill bit. This diameter is 6 and this diameter is 50. This is for drilling the holes. And uh, this is a finger bit to grind in the edges. And uh, this is drill bit for marble. It's made by vacuum breeze technology. See the diamond, it's very easy, it's very sharp. And this one is a grinding wheel. This is to grind the edge, grind the surface of uh, natural stone or uh, quartz. Right now we have regularly supplied this calibration wheel to Indian market and uh, Vietnam market. The feedback is also very good compared to Italian wheel. Our uh, advantage is the cost is much more economic and the performance is also very good. And another one big size, we didn't bring the sample here. This yes. is uh, called calibration roller for quartz processing. Recently, we have supplied many to Indian market, especially for some EOU plant, export oriented unit. Also have very good feedback. And uh, final products, I want to give some simple introduction of our wire saw. We have wire saw for grinding quarry and uh, for profiling and uh, for block squaring. This diameter is 11.5 mm, and we have 3640 bits per meter. Any more details upon your request? This saw can be used for quarry, for both granite and marble. For quarry, for stationary cutting. Uh, because we don't have uh, enough time to display all our products, so during this uh, live show. So if you need another cutting or polishing tools for sandstone, quartz, concrete, ceramic, just feel free to leave the message to us. We will recommend simple tools for you com uh, combined with the machinery. So till now we have uh, introduced both our machines and also tools. Uh, if, uh, let's check out about our machines so that you can know how the machine works. This video is from our customer's factory. Let's check the video. This is not a very small kind of machine in the domestic market. This is kind of granite. And we are using light plates, 2.2 meters. Maximum cutting height is 95 mm for this combination of plate. This machine is already 7 mm -hmm. years old, but still working very well. See you another multi-break here. Running in India market. This is from India.
it's in our paradigm of catching the temporal, temporal power. I think it's very popular in China and also very popular in many abroad countries. This is a temporal block, and this is our model of combination. The combination of this three is 2.2 meters, 9 or 10 days. Monthly output of this machine in Karnataka is more than 30,000 square feet one month. And if having software planning, we can get 45,000 square feet per month. This uh, strong machinery also is our segment. Customer segment and the machinery goes together. is we can easily get 95 to 100 degrees. So this uh, hazard and collision is not the only final or one final conditions.
We are going to cut the steps into tiles. This is the PLC 600 bridge cut machine. We are just showing the factory. This is the latest block. First, the machine will clear the touches block and then stop, stop moving and move to the left side. Start time. Okay, we finish the introduction of our uh, machinery video. Uh, just now we, we have received some questions from now, some of the FAQ we, uh, we answered. What is the deliver delivery time of machines? Uh, delivery time, normally for standard model machine, production time is around 30 to 40 days, 15 to 20 days, sorry. And but if customer customized machine, we need to make some change or update the, the machine the specification. So production will nearly 30 to 40 days. Yes. But we will try our best to deliver the machine as soon as possible. So what about the warranty of the machine? Uh, normally we provide one, one year warranty for the machines. In this year, if you have any problem with the electrical parts or mechanical parts, we will uh, basically re replace the parts for you. And after the warranty, if you need any problem, we can give you online assistance with our engineer. Or if you need our engineer to come to your site, we can arrange our engineer as well. Uh, I mean, after warranty, even after warranty of 5 years, 10 years, if any time you have a problem, we will give you online assistance. Yes, we, our service is complete since when you purchase the machine. And, uh, Normally, we will provide step-by-step -step direction manual 
along with the machine and the video. So you can ask your local engineer to install the machine following our direction. I think your machine will run perfectly. If we need engineer come to our factory for installation, can you arrange? Yeah, no problem. We can arrange any anytime you want, you like. <laughs> okay. So uh, we have finished uh, this FAQ question. So happy time is always short. We have to say goodbye now. Hope our live show was helpful for you. Give us a final like if you really enjoy it. If you have any more questions here, you just tap on the screen and uh, leave a message to us. We will answer your questions as soon as possible. So thanks for staying with us for the last two hours. Yes, thank you for thank your you. seeing. See you. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.